Action SA says the decision by the National Prosecuting Authority to withdraw its corruption charges against former Minister Zizi Kodwa reflects growing concerns of a lack of prosecutorial diligence or the possibility of deliberate mishandling of cases involving high-profile individuals. Herman Mashaba, Action SA leader, now joins me for more. What is meant by prosecutorial mismanagement and a lack of prosecutorial diligence, Herman Mashaba? Uh, good afternoon, Oliver, and <clears throat> thank you for the opportunity and good afternoon to the listeners. So I think uh, this trend uh, by the National Prosecuting Authority is really very worrying. As you are aware, uh, we, com they, we complete this as a country after the billion rands of uh, expenditure that uh, Judge Ron uh, Judge Two years later, no serious single uh, high profile prosecution. All the cases or some of them are just brought uh, before the courts and uh, end up uh, like what happened yesterday with the withdrawal of uh, Zizukon Kodwa. You can imagine in, in a country where we, we, we have the highest levels of uh, murder rate, the highest uh, of, uh, rape and, and so forth. And uh, when you want to really destroy the country, you destroy the rule of law. And that's really what's happening in our country right now. We are sending a very strong message um, to the poorest of the poor who have got today nothing to eat to say, look, you know what, it pays in this country to actually be involved in criminality. But there are at least 11 cases that's before the courts right now involving high profile individuals. Surely this isn't the signal that there's no seriousness in prosecuting state capture related cases. I think uh, we must be really very careful around uh, serious prosecution or political gimmicks that uh, we believe uh, the NPA is playing where we, you know, I mean, look at, uh, for a, for an example, this particular case uh, of uh, Zizu Koda, just uh, at, at the last appearance, uh, NPA said to us uh, they've got a very strong case. And then a month later, the case is withdrawn. I mean, uh, what signal are we, are we saying about this? Because someone who's actually received uh, money from uh, uh, people who are connected uh, to uh, serious uh, cases of corruption in this country, and people are uh, actually given a leeway to get away with, uh, with, with, with these cases because uh, they are politically connected. But people might really think that uh, they are allowing politically connected individuals to get away with murder. Unfortunately, we are sending a very wrong signal to those who are desperate to just really provide a meal for their families out there. On the one hand, you're urging, as a politician of a political party represented in parliament, urging the National Prosecuting Authority to take action against Isa Godwa and prosecute him. That could be seen as undue political pressure being placed on the NPA. Surely we want the NPA to take cases to court that are winnable um, and that pass the muster of reasonable doubt, not because we think it, has, it carries political weight. Uh, should you not be cautious about it, Mr. Mashaba, in publicly urging the National Prosecuting Authority to prosecute specific people when you yourself don't have sight of the body of evidence they evaluated? Well, I think, Oliver, we, we live in a democratic dispensation. And in any democratic society, actually, uh, political oppositions have got the constitutional responsibility to hold uh, the executive to account. We cannot uh, really see uh, the National Prosecuting Authority failing us dismally and be expected to really keep quiet. In fact, this is the time when political parties actually need to exert more pressure on the executive uh, to get uh, the uh, the uh, the, the prosecuting authority to really be independent. Let me just give you an example, uh, Oliver, of a case where the NPA in Pumalanga uh, is actually in contempt of court order. I'm sure you're aware of uh, the Lily Mine families where three of our fellow South Africans went down uh, the, the mine just about eight years ago. Um, the uh, Bombella Magistrate Court came out with a judgment that those responsible for these cases must be immediately prosecuted, including the police, senior management in, 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 the, in the Department of Minerals and Energy and, and mine management, because the collapse of that container was as a result of negligence. It was not really ex accident. But, but, it but was an accident surely, Mr. Mashaba, there's happened. a fine line to be drawn about a recommendation coming out of an investigation or, or a, a report by a commission or an ad hoc body versus what the prosecuting authority can actually take to court. The standards of, of passing a winnable case are not the same for those two things. 
Very much. Uh, I can tell you uh, if we are going to allow the, the prosecuting authority to continue at this rate, I can assure you without any shade of doubt that uh, this country will be the, on a path to destruction because uh, if you want to destroy a country, destroy the rule of law. And that's exactly what the National Prosecutor, uh, uh, National Prosecuting Authority is doing right now. Compromising the prosecution of cases that are as clear as daylight, including cases that I've just given you where the yeah. court made a judgment that people must be prosecuted. A year later, no prosecution has happened. Okay. Basically, they are now in contempt of court, of, of court orders. Okay, just a last question here, um, and that is, do you think that, do you believe that the prosecuting authority right now is experiencing political influence on the inside? Without any shade of doubt, I'm sure you're aware I was the mayor of the city of Johannesburg uh, during the three years as a mayor re reported uh, 35 billion rands of, uh, of cases and over 60 cases that we presented to them, uh, clear as daylight. Even up to today, there's one case of uh, a substation in El Dorado Park, the case that are laid criminal charges in 2017 up to today. That case, uh, we don't know what's happening. I know the, 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 the individuals involved, they keep going to court. The cases get uh, uh, gets, uh, postponed all the time. One of these days, perhaps if I'm talking to you right now, that case is already uh, thrown out of court. A case that it is so clear that um, you come across six to 60 million rents spent on, on a construction of, of a substation. And when we uh, go and investigate, nothing really happening. Just over yeah. a million rents worth of work uh, con 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 concluded. So I'm personally convinced that uh, the National Prosecuting Authority is actually is under a lot of uh, political influence. They are no longer independent as we South Africans expect sure. them to be. Yeah, Hamna Mashaba, leader of Action SA, thank you so much for your time. Really do appreciate it. We're reaching out to the National Prosecuting Authority uh, for their position on this matter.